I'm not over it. I'm not over it. Our powder bathroom is done. She's stunning and she's here. I'm not over it. <laughs> She's so beautiful and so feminine and perfect. I wanna start off with showing you what we had before. Yeah. I moved into a bachelor house going room by room, slowly but surely for the last three years. First thing I did for this powder bath is the first thing I do for every room. Start with a mood board. And I have an entire tutorial on how to make mood boards up here. It's very useful. I designed the whole space around my chinoiserie trellis wallpaper. It's the first wallpaper I designed. I really had a vision for this powder bathroom to feel like you were enveloped in a overgrowing, like wildly occurring trellis. So like I wanted guests to feel like this is their little pocket of peace. What's so weird is that the thing I got hung up on for the longest was what color finishes are we gonna do? Gold or silver, like plated brass or polished chrome. And ultimately I went with polished chrome because I really love the look of polished chrome at the country club bathroom. It just is so feminine and elegant and elevated. So ultimately that's the one I decided on, but for some reason that was what held me up. The vanity we sourced from Pottery Barn. So we found it and we decided on it, but we actually watched it until it went on sale. So we were able to get like 30% off. I cannot go any further without thanking my father-in-law who none of this would have happened without Steven and my father-in-law. They worked tirelessly for an entire weekend taking our old vanity out and putting the new vanity in. And I think we all need to experience the chaotic fun that ensued. Enjoy. This bathroom is going to be transferred. You want a left handed screwdriver? I love it without a screwdriver. Oh my god. With all things are possible. Now keep in mind, oh my god. the water is cut off. Is the water cut off? <laughs> is the water cut off? <laughs> Holy this moly. This is a puzzle. Let's get Heather to solve it. I thought Finn wants to take it off. We have a situation here. Um, are you going to take situation? it off? It's coming along. My amazing husband and father in law are working so hard. They decided to give a coat of paint before we install the sink. So they're doing that. We're gonna paint it pink. We're gonna paint it pink. Just to mount the sink. <laughs> hey, you engineer. Oh, he thinks he can do things. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he in order to get rid of this that's disaster, that's what the purpose is, the I got a new chandelier and we're going to purpose. cut a hole in the ceiling. Have to go uh, and do the whole cutting. Love the headlamp. Oh man. I am just wearing my latex gloves as I connect them together. It's gonna look so beautiful. I need to paint this room, but it's coming along. I am in the bathroom painting a coat of primer down as just a coat of white. It's going to be so beautiful, but I really do need to get it looking like somewhat put together because we're having a lot of people over this weekend. I'm going to start cutting in. We're going to drywall mud some tomorrow. Believe it or not, this is painted. Primer is super thin. Thin, so it doesn't look like I did anything, but there's a full coat of primer and it was a whole quart can. Sweetly enough, my dad's best friend from childhood came over to install the wallpaper for us. He is a wallpaper expert, so if you are in Marietta or the greater metro Atlanta area, I will leave his information in the description box below because he is truly amazing. He's a breath of fresh air and we had so much fun installing the wallpaper. Take a look. Panel. Should be the same size? Yeah. Probably an alternate and a mat, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this this is Uncle Goosey, as everyone in Marietta calls him. Or they just call you Goose, right? They call me Goose. Just Goose. Yeah. He and Daddy, y'all grew up together, and y'all might, I, y'all might as well be brothers because you have the same personality, yep. the same, even the same way of talking. It's <laughs> hilarious. Well, we hung out a lot. I met your Daddy in third grade. Oh my gosh! Yep. We've been friends ever since. Right, they're looking beautiful. Look, just enough. Oh, perfect. perfect. This is, I guess, it's Uncle Goose approved, but 
I don't want to say too soon. Spoonflower has its own wallpaper calculator. So if you pick one of these patterns out and you're like, how much do I need? You can enter into the Spoonflower calculator and I'll pop something on the screen here. Exactly the size of your walls and it will tell you exactly how much wallpaper you need. And if you are in the Metro Atlanta, Marietta area, please hire this man. He please. only does wallpaper. He's amazing. You've been doing it for 40 years, right? That's correct. Uh, this, this is good wallpaper. It's a uh, fabric back vinyl. Got a little fabric to it. Okay. Very nice. Should hang perfect and look beautiful. Okay, so you're happy with that quality. I am. I love yeah. it so far. Awesome. Usually I can feel it with my hands and I can tell if it's going to be good or not. Oh. Just from experience. Yeah. We did the non pasted traditional pebble and because it's mold resistant and it's waterproof and that was really important to us and here we go what's really gonna be funny is when I find a photo of you and daddy and I'm gonna pop something on you the should. screen well your dad was a picture taker your dad was the only one around that had a camera that's really funny yeah. and I I didn't realize that yeah. maybe that's why I'm like this your dad in high school got like a Canon a real photographer camera yeah so he would carry a camera in his car and we would take pictures <gasps> He's the only one that has pictures because it's not like you got your phone you just take a picture. I know. So oh, maybe that's where I get this from. If you get, if you go to your mama's basement and look through his old, you will find. A lot of <laughs> I bet. I, I bet. I Everybody's got a camera now. Wow. So you just Nobody added water to this. I added a little water just to make it uh, wow. slide better on the wall. Very patient glue, a glue that requires some paste to it. Mmm. Okay. Oh, so you set it aside, glue. You like do. That. You gotta. You gotta paste it and let it sit before you hang it. Oh, the booking process. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I would be doing you a massive disservice if I did not point out to you that on the back of your wallpaper label. There are instructions and recommendations for how to prime your wall. And selfishly, I'm just putting this in the video so I don't forget. <laughs> but they recommend a specific primer here before you install the wallpaper. The booking process has begun. Yep, yeah, we're about to hang the paper. To make it wow. Look beautiful. All right. Yep, Heather, I've been doing this 40 years and this is the first First time I've ever hung a designer's wallpaper, and that's you. So that's amazing. Very exciting. <laughs> Pretty amazing. That's so. A young lady like you has done this. Aww. I'm proud. Yeah, I'm really excited. This works Monday through Thursday. So if you need him, any Monday through Thursday, Marietta, Atlanta, Buckhead, any of our friends who are local, call this man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> call this. This will be your. This will be your commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. This is why you hire somebody. Look at that technique. <laughs> well, these tiles are just kind of hard to work around sometimes. Yeah. see people all the time be like, remind me never again to <laughs> use peel and stick. Oh, exactly. Oh my gosh. You, you couldn't pay me to try it. Unless you're doing like a dollhouse for a child. Yep. You I mean, cannot. it is so hard to hang. It's no fun. It's, it sounds terrible. And it, it's never a good quality either. Nope. It's real thin. Yep. <laughs> a lot of people think it's cheaper, but you get a lot less wallpaper per roll than a normal wallpaper roll. So usually it, it's right at the same price. Oh my Cap gosh. Price, yeah. You are kidding me. Mm -mm. I was like, we got three pieces off of your double roll. Right. You might get one. So, <laughs> till the stick, six, 20, 40, 60. Same area. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, you, you spent this that same amount of money, you know? And wow. I hate it, you know? So, yeah, this is the hard part. This is the overlap.
when you put your non-pasted traditional pebble wallpaper on your wall, you'll notice the peeling and the bubbling. That is totally normal. It's part of the booking process. Mm -hmm. Not to be worried about. This is when the glue is basically getting adhesed to the wall as well as the paper, and it does bubble up, and it's nothing to worry about. It's all 24 hours. Yeah. So just FYI. It's looking so good, Goose. Oh my gosh. Ow. See, look how he does the corners. He's done. So can you do it yourself? Yes, you can do it yourself. But I'm sorry, it's just not going to be as good. Yeah, it's not, I don't advise it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I really don't advise it at all. <laughs> don't install wallpaper. Just get somebody. You want it to last forever. And this is made to last forever. So, yeah, it'll last a long time. so do it right the first time. It's like a little curtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last but not least, steaming the shower curtain panels. I thought I should show you before I give you the reveal where this all started. This is the painting of the leaves that I did for the chinoiserie trellis design. Got it into Adobe Illustrator, created it into a repeating pattern. So that's how this becomes this, which then becomes. I am so excited and I'm so proud of what we were able to accomplish with essentially just a new vanity, new wallpaper, and new textiles. This was not a rip it down to the studs renovation. This was a refresh and it absolutely has taken on a completely new life. I wanted the space to feel like a cocoon, like a warm hug, because it is a smaller space, but I feel like it's the best opportunity in a small space to really go for it with decor. Really just make it feel like you are in a different world, you are in a cocoon. And what's interesting is that this pattern and having it really envelop you in this room actually makes the room feel bigger. So that's a little design hack if you have a small room. Sometimes you could even go dark with your paint color to make it feel bigger or just really go wild with your pattern and it makes it feel bigger. This is an absolute jewel box powder bath now and I cannot wait to entertain. I can't wait to have people over. I am so proud when I look around at this wallpaper that I designed. I painted it, designed it, and printed it and I'm looking at it. <laughs> and this really was the pattern that started it all. Like it started my entire collection on Spoonflower of over 50 designs that are available. So I have wallpapers. I also have grass cloth in this wallpaper that's available as well. That's a step above what this is. And so I highly recommend if you really want something wow, try this in grass cloth. We also did a matching shower curtain in the same exact pattern and I think it really does achieve that look of carrying it through and making it a very grand millennial maximalist space. It is so happy in here. The shower curtain that matches the wallpaper perfectly to me is the most exciting part of this project because I did double shower curtains that open in the middle this is just a much more luxurious look. If you're wondering how in the world do you use window curtains as a shower curtain and still have the shower curtain liner, it's so easy. All you need is these little hookies to hook your shower curtain liner to the back of your curtain panel. Could also even use a bigger shower curtain hook. And just like that, you're well on your way. So this mirror I actually found at Turnage Place in Atlanta, one of my favorite antique stores. It's off Howell Mill, and if you are local, you must go and tell Helen I sent you. It is the best value. We were able to snag this for $150. I know, Turnage Place really knocked it out of the park for us finding this perfect mirror. And now I'm gonna head into the studio because I have a lot to do. I've got an order to pack up. I can't wait to show you some of the things that I'm going to be shooting today in the studio as well. Using these gorgeous flowers, I adore the hydrangea tulips. These tulips are the tulip peony hybrid that Trader Joe's sells. <gasps> they are divine and they gradually open. So they last and last. They are on day four now and they're beautiful. So let's go into the studio. 
What you're seeing here is how I start every painting. I always take it to the iPad first to test out colors and test out just different techniques, different styles. Maybe I want to draw a leaf a different way for a particular painting. I really want to see how it looks. I'm so excited for these to be done. These are four miniatures on silk. They're really not miniatures. They're eight and a half by 11. So I guess they're for me, they're miniature. <laughs> they're not a big panel. So excited to send these off to Richmond. I'm gonna get them framed. One down. So cute. They are so happy. I'm kind of sad they're not staying here. Oh my gosh, they're coming for you, Richmond. So feminine, ornate, and delicate. Every time one of my babies goes out in the world, I'm so proud. All right, so I just finished shooting with the new originals on silk and I need to skedaddle to UPS to ship them out, but I'm so happy with how they turned out. I am going to finish packing these up and then go to UPS and then mom and I are hitting up a very exciting estate sale. I just walked outside to a lovely package and I thought I would unbox this with you before I head out to meet mom for the estate sale. This is a skincare company called Lindaba. I'm really excited to try this brand because their ingredients are really clean and heavy lifting. They sent over their good night, good morning, and their cleanser. So this is the good night. It's very potent. It's designed to replace multiple products in your routine. So it's the concentration of your peptide and niacinamide serum, hydration of moisturizer and nourishment of an oil, and the gentleness of like an eye cream. So it's an intensive regeneration treatment, restoring collagen and strengthening your skin barrier overnight. The ingredients are the thing that get me the most excited. Aloe, vitamin B5, vitamin E, shea butter, plant-based hyaluronic acid, horsetail extract, wild geranium, dandelion, peptide complex. I also love an oil-based makeup remover slash cleanser, so I'm very excited about this. In one of my recent videos, I talked about how important active ingredients are, and peptides are definitely an active. Stop it, this is so cute. Applicator, adorable. I love this. Ooh, really dewy. Yes. This is the good night serum. It's like a magic eight ball is what this reminds me of. Oh, gosh, look how dewy that is. That's gorge. I mean, stop being so adorable. You want some toy soldiers? Beautiful. Here y'all causing a I ruckus. Was <laughs> Jojo was gonna meet us with what this house really was like back in like the six. Look at the hydrangeas. Records. This is the one that I wanted and they still have it and I'm so happy. Michelangelo. Oh, look at the bookmark. There's like a little bookmark in it. It's all his illustrations, like all his charcoal stuff. I love it. And then mom, oh, is that what that is? We're in the wood shop area. Lawn. We have buttons. Workshop. And then we have very Door old shop. buttons. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dice. Oh my god. He was very organized. Picture lamps. Oh, oh cool. That's those. helpful. Butterfly. These are those little, like back in the 50s or 60s, when you'd put your. You, Christmas old, you put these on your tree and you put real candles on them. That's so sweet. Look how sweet that is. You'd burn your house down now. <laughs> Remember the time I had the fire in the fireplace? Yeah, and it was an actual fire. Like we, we didn't. We actually had a fire in the fireplace. But what did mom use to put the fire out? Where was a the leaf fire? blower. The fire was in it the fireplace. That it made it grow. <laughs> Oh, cute. They did have a little hot they tub out hot here. Tub. That's beautiful. Oh, look at these linens. They're beautiful. It's an R. They're just beautiful linens. Oh, for rocks, hey. Oh, but they're really, they're beautiful. <laughs> for the what? This place is gorgeous. It's so cute. <laughs> oh. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to um, get it. And I'll scratch his back. Oh my God. Come here, honey, I'll scratch your back. <laughs> she is falling in love. We, I, this is her first time at Floral Park Market. Oh my I know, they look like twigs, I'm so happy. So is this like a little maiden fur? I guess. Yes. <gasps> maiden hair, I wanna get Cal on something like this oh. for Mother's Day. Del it's so delicate. I love that. And they do really well. It's, it's very whimsical, whimsy, it's just delicate, I love it. And they last a long time? Yeah, and I think they have cute little personalities. Oh, they definitely like, do. Look at that. Our favorite candles are the State of France. Or it's like- Smooth, I gotta get over here. why we love Floral Park Market, because they have lady peas when nobody else does. Oranges. I know. Okay, I think I know what I want. I hope it's just, I can't see. I know what I want. The purple and blue. Purple and blue? I love that color combination. What about purple, blue, and green? Microgreens and like broccoli sprouts are, okay, so like a half a cup of broccoli sprouts, if you put it like on your salad. Yeah. It's like eating six cups of broccoli. I know. Microgreens are so good for you. Oh my God. I don't want to get too much this cold because we're going to... The cream cheese. We obviously came to Turnage Place. This is mom's first time here, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> So cute. Oh, this is my jam. I did. This is my jam. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here, I'm paying. Here's your payment. Yeah, this this is my here. I did. We we get very lost in here. It's dangerous. I, 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 I don't come in here. Sincerely. This just, desk is know. new, Bass. Oh it is relatively new, yeah. This is a beaut. You guys came at a good time because like we were much messier. Like. Child's Garden of Versus. Now, Aww. okay, it's it's rather tattered, but look at this. This is what I would do for Elizabeth Ann or for a grant for grandkids. The art I would take a frame this. Aww. Oh, oh, it's I. That am the captain of a tidy little ship. How oh, sweet is that frame? That's really cute. And you could do like a series of frames. Oh my gosh. And that one, look at this one. A birdie with a yellow bill hopped upon my windowsill. How sweet is that? I want to get mom's honest reaction. Come on in. Oh my gosh, sweetie. You designed this. I know. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> this is yours you think about you painted this leaf you painted these berries i know is, isn't that crazy i showed the piece of paper where i actually did the initial art for this oh my and it's really wild God. and the light i love the light fixture with it i know oh my gosh it's so beautiful love this you do yes <laughs> So I didn't know what to do with this big giant soap block. Ah, uh, that's perfect. Okay. Oh I just my I just kind of keep it in that spode dish because it fits mm -hmm. it. Um, Absolutely love it. Have you smelled that Flamingo Estate, by the way? The hand soap? No. Oh, wow, I love that. I know, it's kind of This is like amazing. nice. It's not open. Well, that's that's janky. I apologize for my jankiness. It's not that it's janky. I, I still didn't get it open. Oh my gosh. I love the shade of like sea salty blue. So this is a Sherwin Williams paint color. I, I used uh -huh. I used the exact hex color code. So I knew that I would like it and then I could recommend to people like. So you got that paint color. Exactly the paint color. Love this. I oh know. my gosh. I know, he did so, so good. Great. Yeah, so definitely, if you do have your wallpaper done, always remember to ask them to do the outlet covers. Oh, always. Because if you don't ask Love them, it. if you don't ask them, they will not do them. That's so true. Definitely ask them. Uncle Goosey's amazing though, and he was like, of course I'm gonna do these. So, always make sure you ask for this. Reach out to me if you would like to see a custom color in one of my designs. I hope I've inspired you today. Be sure to check out this next video if you want to transform one of your spaces using my easy tips on how to create a mood board.